What is going on guys? In this video, we are going to create simple and beautiful login screen with Jetpack Compose from scratch. We will use the composables like image, text, text field, button, text button, also row and columns. Also, we will learn about modifiers, alignment, arrangement. We will learn a lot of things about developing UI in Jetpack Compose in this video. So without any delay, let's design this login screen with new Android Studio project. So click on new project. Select empty activity. This will be our Jetpack Compose activity. Click on next. Give the application name. Let's give my login. Minimum SDK. Let's select Android 8.0. Build configuration language. Let it be recommended one and click on finish. It will take some time to create our project. So here we have hello world project which is by default. If you run the application, this is running. Our project is created correctly. Now say hello to this greeting method and you can delete it. Also, let's delete preview. We will directly run in the emulator. Also, let's remove this. Now we only have set content. So here we will make our login page from scratch. So here we can add composables like text. Let's say login. We can add text field as well. We can add button as well, but we will not do these things here. We will just create our own composable and we will add all the required things in that composable. So let's go to the package and create a new Kotlin class file. So here we will select file and give the name login screen here we will just create a function so this function will be our composable so let's say login screen this is our composable now this is just a function so to make it composable what we can do we can annotate it with composable we have this composable we can annotate it now it became composable now here we can add all the composables now i will go to main activity and call this login screen that's it. Now whatever we add in this login screen, it will be visible in main activity. For test, let's see text easy tuto. And if I run the application, you can see the text is visible. That means login screen is being visible. So I will put it side by side. Now let's start designing the login screen. So first thing what I will do, I will delete this. And I have one image. So you can see over here, I have this a.png. This image I will copy and paste it in drawable. So in resource drawable, I'll paste it. So this is here a.png. So here first thing I will add is image view. So how we can add an image? We have image view in the XML and here we have image. So you can use image and we have to pass two things that is painter and content description. So for painter, I will do paint resource. From here, we can give the path of Android resource drawable and a now it will load this a in this image content description let's give login image if i run now you can see we have the image over here now i'll add text here welcome back if i run it you can see they are overlapped so what we have to do we have to add either row or column here we will use column we will add all the items in vertical so i will use column that is a composable and it takes column scope which will take all the composables so i'll cut it out paste it over here now if i run now they are arranged vertically now what i want to do i want to center these things and also i want this column to take full width like we do match parent in the xml same thing here i want column to take full width so for that we have modifier so there are some properties in modifier if you go in column and here in small brackets, you have to pass the properties. You can see we have this modifier, vertical arrangement and horizontal alignment. So for column, all the arrangement are in vertical. That's why vertical arrangement. For row, it will be vertical. But for row, it will be horizontal arrangement and vertical alignment. So here what I will do, I'll first pass modifier. So modifier equals to modifier dot. So you can see there are lots of properties in modifier. We can pass padding, fill max size, clickable, fill maxed width, size, vertical scroll, background, everything we can pass in this modifier. So what I will do, I will pass fill max size so that it will take full screen. We have to import this. Make sure we import it from Android X Compose UI. Now column will take full size. Once column takes the full size, we can arrange them. So what I will do, I will do vertical arrangement arrangement dot center if i run it now you can see it is in center now also i want horizontal alignment so for that i will pass horizontal alignment alignment 
dot you can see we have different option i will select center horizontally if i run now now it is centered so like this you can pass modifier to any composables for image also you can pass for text for any composables you can give modifier so here for image also i will give the modifier what modifier i will do i will do modifier modifier dot size i will give the size of this image 200 dp so you have to import the dp import now if i run it will take 200 dp size in this way you can use modifier now for this text welcome back I will add the styles. So how we can add the style in the text? If you go over here, if you hover over here, you can see we have modifier, color, font size, font style, font weight, everything we have over here. Let's add font size. Let's say 28 SP. SP we need to import for the text. And let's say font weight, font weight dot bold. So in this way we have passed font size, font weight to this text. So let's see. Now you can see we can style the text like this. Now below this I will add another text that will be login to your account. Login to your account. So I don't want to style it. It is good. I will just add a space in between welcome back and login to your account. So for that what you can do. You can add spacer and we can pass height or width. So it takes modifier. So modifier dot height i will give the height i want a space in height so let's say 4 dot dp so you can see i have the space of 4 dp now below this login to your account i will add a text field how we can add the text field we can use text field and we have to pass value and on value change value and on value change if i pass and run it you can see this is default text field but i want different text field styled one that is outline text field this is also one composable so outline text field it will take the same thing value and on change we won't pass value for now on change we will just pass empty brackets and run now you can see it is outlined we can add label also so how we can add label here label we can pass if you see over here it takes composable not the string so if you write here let's say email it won't work because it will take composable not the string so what is the composable in brackets we can give text composable let's say email address now if i run email address you can see if i click it goes here so this is looking good i will add a space between this login to your account and this text field so for that i will copy this spacer paste it here and give the height about 16 dp now it's looking good now after this let's add another text field that will be our password so i'll copy spacer first 16 dp and copy this outline text field also and here i will give password run it you can see email and password are visible now it's looking good now below this i will add a login button so same thing i will do over here here i will add one spacer let's copy this paste it over here let's give 16 dp and i will add a button so how we can add button we have button composable if you press enter you can see we have on click method so here we'll pass on click whatever we want to do let's remove this for now and inside this row scope we have to pass the composable we cannot pass directly string like login we have to pass the composable so composable will be text composable let's pass login so this will create a button let's run it you can see button is visible we can click this and it will call this on click function now here i will add a forgot password so let's add first spacer let's say 32 dp and below this i will add a text composable which will be forgot password if i run it you can see the forgot password but if you notice it is not clickable why because this is a simple text composable it will not be clickable by default the buttons will be clickable but the text will not be clickable so for clickable text we have another composable that is text button so here what i will do i will add text button i will add on click letter and here inside this row scope i will pass this forgot password if i run now you can see this is clickable now so it is a text button now not a simple text we can set on click on this this will work but what if you want the text clickable let's say i want this welcome back to be clickable 
but it should not be text button so how we can do that we can make any composable clickable so if you remove this text button for now for this text i will make it clickable how we can do that if you remember we have modifier modifier dot if you see over here you have size clickable height align we have this clickable so if you click on this here we have got the on click that means it makes the forget password clickable and also we can pass the function if i run now you can see it is clickable by this modifier dot clickable so by this modifier dot clickable you can make any items clickable below this i will add social logins so for that i will first add a spacer 32 dp and i will add a simple text or sign in with if i run now so this is visible below this i will add three images for facebook google and twitter i have already downloaded them from flat icon i'll copy these three icons and i will go to resource drawable and paste it so here you can see facebook google and twitter now i'll add those in the same way we have added this image we have to pass painter and content description so here also image enter painter will be paint painter resource r dot drawable dot facebook let's say first facebook and content description let's say facebook that's it if i run now you can see facebook icon is visible and if you click this it is not clickable because by default image also will not be clickable so you have to pass modifier what i will do i'll pass modifier to this so modifier equals to modifier dot clickable first i will give the size let's say 60 dot dp and i will make it dot clickable so whenever we click on this facebook it will come over here facebook clicked let's say so we can do login with facebook from here in the same way i will copy this image paste it below so it will be let's say google and r dot drawable dot google i'll copy this again paste it it will be twitter content description also twitter here google clicked and twitter clicked if i run now you can see we have these three icons and all are clickable if you see over here but everything we are arranging in columns i want these three in a row so inside a full column i want these three things inside a row so how we can do that i will just add a row after this or sign in with i'll add a row and inside this row scope i will cut everything three images and paste it here so it has come inside the row if I run now, they are in row. But you can see it is not looking good. This row is taking this much of his space only. We have to give modifier for this as well. So what I will do in row, in the empty in the small brackets, I will pass modifier, modifier dot fill max width. I want this to take whole width. I will do fill max width. I don't want full size, but only the width. If I run now. You can see it has come over here. It is taking the full size. So to arrange this like in column, we have vertical arrangement. Here we have horizontal arrangement. So horizontal arrangement, arrangement dot. You can see space around, space between, space evenly. You can use any of this. If I say space between, let's say and run. It will look like this. It has a space in between. I will do space evenly. So it will look like this and also i will add padding you can add a spacer over here after sign in with but i will show you how to add the padding like we used to add in xml so here for this row we can add padding so here you can see modifier in modifier only we have dot padding and we can pass the dp so how much dp i want i want 40 dp let's run now now we have the 40 dp padding and here also we have the 40 dp padding now it is looking good we have we have image view we have text we have outline text field we have button we have made our text clickable we have made the images clickable as well now we have created the beautiful ui so if you write email address over here it won't work because we have to add the variables so let's do that also what i will do in the login screen composable i'll just create two variables that will be email that will be email so by remember i have already told you about this remember in basic calculator video so we have to create variable by remember so here if you go in the import statement in this remember just give a star so that it will import everything and here we have to pass mutable state of and the value will be empty at first same way i will create for password as well password by remember empty value 
and here in the text field instead of this value I will pass email and instead of this value I will pass password and on value change and also on on value change we will get a string here I will do email equals to it also in password password equals to it so whenever we type something in email and password it will store in email and password variable now if I run I am able to write test at gmail.com you can see I am able to write the password also you may want to hide the password so for that we have one feature in outline text field so after this label what we can do we can pass visual transformation that will be password visual transformation so if you pass this visual transformation so if you pass this now password won't be visible see test at gmail.com and password will not be visible so we have stored email and password in our variables whenever we click on login we can do the login with that email and password I will check the variables over here in the login in on click what I will do so here I will just show the log so log dot I I will write tag as credential and I will show email as from email variable email variable and password from password variable so you can write the login logic over here if I run now if I go to logcat over here and search for credentials and I will write the test at gmail.com and one two three four five six if I click on login is email and password so in this way we have beautifully designed our login page and also I hope you have learned a lot of things from this video if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below I will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye